What's up guys, Brett Medlock here. Before you watch this, I wanted to let you know that the episode is actually kind of short, so I decided to add a video that me and CJ did uh, a while back in a group uh, on Facebook that we weren't going to have it go public, but it's a funny story, so I decided to just make it a part of this video. So, hope you enjoy. Hello. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Talking Telltale. This is episode 16. Yep. And we are continuing our series on the Batman's Telltale. And this is episode 3 of Batman. All right. So, Harvey got his face burnt by a lamp. If you chose Selena Kyle. If you chose to save Selena, which 62% of you have saved selena so 62 percent of you have a gross face to look at the rest of the game <laughs> yeah harvey is uh at the hospital so you go visit him i think you bring flowers i don't remember that's not even important <laughs> um and he is worked up over the debate and he's going on and on and you have a choice to let him vent or you could turn off the tv and stop like him from complaining about it yeah um i, I let him talk I let him talk to. I just want to hear what he has to say. I don't. I don't see why I need to stop him from venting. Yeah, no reason. Um, I guess they just add that just to give you another choice. For, yeah. Um, just random choices that don't really matter. I choose to go save Dent because you can save two people. When? After that. <laughs> <laughs> you jump straight to that. <laughs> we're like, we're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> after the after the hospital, um, so after the hospital, then what? The Wayne Company is discussing firing you over your father's actions leaked. Yeah, like I don't. How do you react? I don't get why they're the thing about firing Bruce Wayne for stuff his parents did. Because he is a bad image. Because everyone doesn't like the Waynes. Now. It's Wayne Enterprise. Their name is in the the title of the company. The board wants to fire you because you're a bad image. Yeah. Now, you end up getting replaced. And you get replaced by Oswald, your old friend. Oswald Cobblepot. Now, do you hug him when he offers you a hug? No. I hugged him. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill you, I swear. Why would they give you a choice if there's only one way? Dude, why would you hug the guy who took your job? Is that what you do in real life? Let's just say your work call you right now. Your lighting design company got replaced. <laughs> lighting design company, that's not it. But okay. your, your lighting job got replaced by a guy named Tim, and he's coming over your house right now, and you can give him a hug, or you can choose to just say nothing. At this point, it is a bad situation. This guy did take my job. The, um... Oswald took my job. It's a bad situation. But it's best to be on his good side. And that's the best way to get your job back. Or, you know, if you're going to be in this bad situation anyway, you might as well be on their good side. Yeah, I don't I don't care about being on their good side anymore. It's not the yeah. company it once was anymore. So there's a guy, I don't remember his name. Um, He's the guy that takes care of all your tech. Oh, yeah. I forgot his name, too. Um, I can't remember. Dang it! I hate not not knowing <laughs> names whenever we're recording because it make like it just makes things worse. Because then we I always get to be like that guy. There's like uh, a, a, doesn't he have glasses? Yeah, he's dark skinned Yeah, yeah, that he's, guy. He takes care of all your tech. You can have him as an ally at Wayne Enterprises to like give you all which the means secrets. which means you get no new tech repairs, but you get the insights. Yeah. Uh, or you can have him come with you, which means he, he's like your partner and he helps you. You have upgraded tech, better tech. Yeah, what did you do? Um, I had him stay at Wayne Enterprises. I like having the inside scoop, like having someone on the inside Me too. to know what's going on. I did the same thing. And uh, I mean, they, like, I feel like the game wouldn't have changed that much if you would have brung him with you. Brought him with you. <laughs> yeah, I, it's best to have him there. Because uh, otherwise you get, you're completely cut off from Wayne Enterprise. Yeah, like your whole old job. Yeah. He's the insider. After that, you meet with Vicky the reporter. And did you handle it calm, politely, or did you get answers from her by force? This is when you meet her at the park. Yeah. 
And you, you still don't know about her dark secrets. Yeah. Um, and she doesn't want to give you the information. Yeah. Which, which when you're thinking about it, like when you're in the moment, you're like, okay, that's fine. And then when you realize, wait, she didn't want to give you information because she's the bad guy. I was calm and polite. And you, and I end up do getting information from her. Yeah, whenever she... But, uh, but you also had the option to get the information by force. And you didn't do that. I, I was Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, by force. <laughs> that sounds like a loss. But you can't, yeah, but you can be, like, aggressive. Yeah, I don't Or angry. I, 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 like I've said, this whole, uh, like, series with, with Batman, I thought Vicky Vale was a nice person the whole time. <laughs> I know. Like, I trusted her. I, I wasn't mean or rude or anything. When she said she didn't want to tell me, I thought it's because it was important to her or something. Through this... You discover the plan to drug the whole city by releasing that drug on a train, but it looks like Selena is working for them. So you you go to the, you know you go there you see the train and everything, yeah. but then you see Selena come out of the train carrying this drug. Yeah, you're like, what the heck, Selena? What have you gotten into? Do you think she's working for them? She plays both sides, or she has a good reason, and, or is forced. Has a good reason. That's what I thought. I, I don't believe you, that you, you could say that to uh, yeah. Alfred. I yeah. I don't think that this Selena is a bad person. Yeah, I thought I thought she. I want to know her reason. Like, I don't want to just assume that she's working for them or she plays both sides. Yeah, it's, it's she's probably doing something in some way to try and get in on something. That is true. Try and figure out secrets. Yeah, but I mean, I, I still am a little hesitant with her. But you know, I give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Um, and then. We end up getting in a big fight. Selena saved me. Uh, I like her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I was. I, she saved me, and I put a little happy face. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, and then did you kiss her forehead? Oh yeah. So you, so, so yeah, you like her. You go back to the apartment. With this her. is the big apartment scene. Um, and you're you're like you're next to her. Yeah. Um. So do you kiss her forehead? Was that the only option? Uh, yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, I, I did any type of stuff like that. Okay, and then, um, you had the option to keep kissing. Did you keep kissing? Of course. All right, and then you have the option to... Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle belong together. Then you have the option to continue to take her suit off. Did you, uh, do that? Yes, did you? Uh, I did a little bit, yeah. A little bit? Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I did a little bit. Um, and then you have the option to go to the bed. Did you go to the bed? Yes. This, this is Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle. I, this is so rare in Batman for me. I haven't seen that. Okay. It could be everywhere. I, I'm not like a full blown like like a Batman nerd, but I've never seen them together, and it was awesome. So you did go. The all whole the way. scene was like really funny. You went all the way with her. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I give then, you a, cool, a few reasons why you shouldn't. Why? Harvey. It's your best friend's girl. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, but she's not really anyway. invested in the relationship. It seems like it's just a plot. It is. It isn't right. Yeah, it isn't right. But in but in the morning, you're in your underwear walking around. The park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put some clothes on, Bruce. <laughs> that was fun. Boy. We were. I was walking around my underwear. Yeah, um, you're like looking at all our stuff. Walking around our whole yeah. house. Um, Harvey shows up, and do you reveal yourself, or do you stay hidden in the bedroom? I think I tried to stay hidden, but the second you do yeah. that, you like trip over something. Yeah, I tried to stay hidden too. Or, or the cat comes out, or something like that. I tried to stay hidden, but I got caught. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. I was really hoping that I could stay hidden because I, I felt bad. <laughs> so Harvey gets angry, starts fighting. You can um, eat him up or you can wear him out. Yeah. I think I I think I just wear him out. He was my friend. Yeah. I, be, I, I, wore, I almost said beat him up. <laughs> I wore him out too. I, I didn't beat him up. I, I mean, it's understandable. I shouldn't have went this far with your girlfriend. Yeah. But you did anyway. You knew it was wrong from the beginning. <laughs> I know. I, I keep saying there's reasons I shouldn't do this, but I kept going with Selena. The whole time, like, I shouldn't have been engaged with Selena. It's not right, but I just kept going. I know. From the very beginning, I, I think it's We're just... We're bad be- people. I think it's just because... Everyone's a bad person, according to the statistics. <laughs> I mean, everybody wants to see Bruce and Selena, like, together. Uh, um, this is where I really, like... I mean, in the hospital, pretty much is where I really figured out that Harvey's a two face, and then like here, I really see it. Yeah, because he starts going nuts. <laughs> yeah, um, Selena now needs a place to stay. Uh, you can tell her you you need to get out of Gotham, or you can come to my cave. Yeah. What do you say? 
I said you can come to my cave. What'd you do? I said, yeah, come to my cave. I got a place for you. She didn't come. Um, she didn't. But, you know, it was an offer. I thought it would be cool if we lived together. I thought we were going to be partners now. <sighs> mm-hmm. And then, is it the end of this episode but that you're out, like, you're on, like, a road, and then you no, can tell her? No, that's a different episode. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and then now you have – the last – the end of this episode is you have to give a resignation speech. Yeah. Should I end the video now? Because we're going to have to do a whole other one. Are we done? We're pretty much almost done. We're at the last part. So you might as well just let the video like cut out and then our audio keep going. Okay. Um, resignation speech. Regina says, just say what's on the teleprompter and I'll try to get you your job back. Yeah. <laughs> or you can expose uh, – sorry, I was banging on her. Yeah. Or you can expose Oswald, which – Hot Selena says to do. <laughs> hot Selena. Who wrote Hot <laughs> Selena? Well, yeah, because the Selena is once you. So, do you want this old hag? You know, <laughs> do you want to listen to her and do what the teleprompter says? Old hag. <laughs> or do you want? So or do you want to listen to Selena what she has to say? I I exposed everything. I didn't. I, I did too. I I didn't. Follow I was like, screw! It. I don't need my job back. I don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm Batman. Can't really be Batman without money, though. Yeah, in the cave. Um, yeah. But I, I didn't say it was on the teleprompter. That was a lot of fun. It yeah. was a lot of fun saying what they didn't want to say. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Oh man! And they gave you like a, like different choices of bad things to say. I forgot to put this one last thing. Is uh, that's where Vicky uh, injects you. That's where you find out Vicky's bad. Oh yeah. And, it's before, and then you go up to get the speech, right? And then, yeah, you you start getting worse and worse as yeah. the speech goes on. Yeah, yeah. And then you go nuts and, like, don't you, like, try to attack someone? Yeah, how did you... Oh, Cobblepot. How did you react when you found out Vicky was bad? Dude, I was so mad. Because, like I've been saying over and over, I really trusted her. She was a bad... She was the bad guy the whole time. I don't know. You Hopefully you've played this if you're watching this. Um... The whole time, right under your nose. That was like a big moment where I was like, I did not expect that. And I felt like I made the right choice ignoring her this whole time. And, yeah. and going with Gordon. Yeah. I felt <laughs> dumb. I felt betrayed. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god. So I didn't think she was bad. I just wasn't. I just didn't want to get involved with the media as much. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, was very surprised. And I attacked uh, the penguin up on the stand. That's the end of my notes. All right, this has been Talking Telltale, episode 16. Um, any, anything else you got to mention? I don't have anything else. All right, be sure to check out our other videos. We do a bunch of topical videos about video games. We do review discussions about stuff like Mass Effect and blah, 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 a bunch of awesome stuff. I do reviews. You can watch just those or, or anything. Check out all other stuff on the channel. Subscribe if you like this video. Uh, leave us a comment on iTunes or a review. We really appreciate that. We love you and good night. They could be watching it in the morning. That's true. <laughs> <laughs>
And that slide wasn't nearly as bad as it was whenever we got to middle school. <laughs> like, it, w- it was perfectly clean and fine back then. Fast forward, like, s- like six years later, and it was the grossest, slimiest, <laughs> grimiest slide. But, yeah, we used to try and go under it for no reason. And it was, there was, like, sharp edges. We could easily get cut, get, like, t- like, tetanus or, like, rust or something in our wounds. I don't know. One time, I walked into that lake. And we, we had the flip phones. Oh, the flip phone incident. Yeah, and I had, I, I kept, <laughs> I had a phone in my pocket, and I accidentally, like, swam over with my phone in my pocket. To, all, the, all the way to the slide. To the slide. And we were in the water, I was like, oh. You were like, oh, crap, dude. You, like, got up on the side, you're like, yeah. dude, my phone, it's, it's probably yeah. ruined. And then we were like, oh, my God, how are we going to get it back over there without <laughs> yeah. having to swim through the water again? And we were like, seriously? Like, <laughs> like, planning out. An, uh, some way that we could get the phone back to the island. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, I was like, I'll go, I'll go halfway in the water, you throw me the phone, then you swim over it halfway, and I'll throw you the phone. We didn't, we forgot, <laughs> or, no, or, wait, wait, first it. I was just gonna throw it, I was gonna chuck it all the way to the to, sand. To the beach. Yeah. And I was like, do you, do you really think you can make that? I was like, like I don't know, man, I might be able to. <laughs> you, 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 we didn't think. I, I remember you looking at me confidently like, I think I can make this. I think I can get it over there. I was like, dude, I got a pretty good arm. I can do this. <laughs> I played a lot of sports back then. But yeah. anyway, we didn't think about it. We could just hold the phone above the water and walk across. Yeah. The water, <laughs> the water was, was like this tall. Yeah. Like, it wasn't... We, we, we didn't realize that we could... We could just, like, I remember like... I was like about to throw you like, wait, <laughs> dude, I can just walk across. I can just hold it. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, damn it. I actually kind of sent a fun to throw it across the river. But uh, <laughs> the phone actually ended up being fine. Remember? Yeah, dude, that phone survived a lot. You, you used like that phone. same phone till high school. Yeah, that was a, from I, like fifth grade. Yeah. All the way to like 10th. That phone went through a lot. I, I don't know how it survived. I wish you still had it. A lot of water damage. Like even though it was broke by now, <laughs> it might still work. Uh, yeah. Any other Lost Valley stores? Um. Resort stores. One time, we <laughs> didn't have a bunch of bees. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we were just, like, walking through, and we cut through this area, like, for no reason. It even had, like, the, the, the do not enter sign, and we were, like, like just cutting through, because it was quicker. And we were with my sister and her friend, and me and you. And we got through, and the co- we're like 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 walking up these stairs. All of a sudden, the swarm of bees was attacking us. Yeah. And then we we run up these stairs. There were bees flying. We're getting, all like, I don't know how I didn't get stung. Like, there was bees literally like in my eyes. Like I was running, and there's a cop at the time. He's like, "Hey, you're not supposed to be in there." We're like, "We're just running from the bees. We're just trying to get away from the bees." And he's like, "Oh crap!" He gets back in his car. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, no, that's just the bees. That's the only reason why we're in here. <laughs> because we're running from bees. So we got completely off the hook for not being in there because we we're getting attacked by bees. <laughs> like, they, the bees gave us an excuse. Yeah, it reminded me of that, that movie with Chris Farley and that other guy where he pretends there's bees in the car <laughs> as, to, as to why he was swerving when the, when the cop has pulled him over. Uh, that's exactly what it was. But so we were actually getting attacked by bees. And, uh, yeah, we didn't get stung. Did you, I don't think anyone got stung. Oh, man. And we played a lot of uh, Animal Crossing on DS. Yeah. and we When sh- the DS came out. We used to show... That was in high school, I think, right? We went to a resort and played DSs. <laughs> yeah. Like, such... Yeah. Uh, we, we, we were, like, in the attic of the cabin and just play. Animal Crossing Wild World on DS. <laughs> it was such a good game. Yeah, we, like, went up... We went inside... Up in the the attic where our sleep room was, yeah, and just play DS yep. for hours. Like, why? We're at a resort. <laughs> We're at a camp resort, and we just want to play our DSs. It was hilarious, <laughs> and it was three of us too. It was you, me, and my friend Jason. We yeah. were all playing Animal Crossing. A lot um, of different people. Oh, I remember. Like, it was, <laughs> it was, it was like below freezing, and you. Like, oh my gosh! You swam to that place. So that same lake that you, we were talking about, yeah, which you is wanted, what you wanted to swim for some reason. I had this friend Jason. You felt like if you had to go, if you went to the camp, you'd have to swim. Or... Yeah, but I had this friend Jason. I and he would make he would like think it was a good idea to do things, and he might he could possibly he's not kind of funny. I keep forgetting this is only kind kind of funny. He's never going to watch this. So he would always get me to do things I didn't really want to do. And I have an example. I have a huge scar on my leg because when he wanted to go swimming in a creek and I got uh, my stick literally went inside my leg. I was in the hospital all spring break. It was one hour after spring break started. And I was in the hospital for 
three weeks after that because of that damn stick. <laughs> but anyway. That's the most painful time of your life. Oh, my God. Day of the pool. Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll do that at a different story. <laughs> most painful times. All right, so. Okay. Um, back to Lost Valley. He had the bright idea to swim across to the lake, but we went, like, in the spring time or the fall where it was cold out. Yeah. It was, like, 30 degrees or, like, 40 degrees. <laughs> swam to the platform. We swam to the freaking platform, and... and I was colder than I could ever possibly imagine. Dude, I'm not kidding you. My penis was inside of me. I was so cold. I was a scared turtle that day. <laughs> I, I, I could, I, I, and I didn't even notice. Jason said, dude, I just looked at my d- Look at yours. And I'm like, what, what's wrong with it? Look at yours. And I'm like, oh my God, it's gone. I, dude, I was like. Pieces, I remember they froze up. I remember I was at the beach. I didn't want to go in that cold water, but I saw you on the platform, and you you didn't want to come back. Oh, dude, I was so miserable. I was like, this was a terrible <laughs> idea. What was I thinking? I hate Jason. You were stuck like in the middle of the lake on a platform because it was too cold. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> And after that, we went right back into the cabin. Yeah, I went back to the cabin and stayed. I was freaking dying. Like, <laughs> my penis disappeared. 